Hi everyone, welcome to this talk about the Android Game Development Kit. I'm Scott Carbon Ogden, a product manager based in London, working on Android games and graphics. Today I'm very excited to talk to you all about the Android Game Development Kit, or AGDK for short. We have a lot of big exciting announcements, but first I'll refresh your memory on what the Android Game Development Kit is. Simply put, the AGDK is a range of tools and libraries to help you develop, optimize, launch, and iterate on high quality Android games. Everything in the AGDK follows three key tenants. It's all code built for gaming. All of our libraries are intended to be used in C or C++ and have been built and tested with performance in mind. Secondly, we intend to reduce fragmentation. The tools and libraries that we're going to show you today work across many different Android SDK and NDK levels. And lastly, these tools were built for Android by Android. These features will be enhanced by future Android platform updates. They'll be updated before new versions of Android land. And they're backwards compatible, having undergone extensive testing. There are three key areas of game development where the HDK can help. Firstly, we have a variety of integrated workflow tools to make Android development efficient. For example, the Android game development extension helps you use your favorite Android tools inside of Visual Studio. AGDK also includes a suite of C and C++ development libraries to make games easy to build, debug, and maintain. For example, game activity and game text input help you focus on the most important code and minimize the amount of the Java native interface that you have to use. And lastly, we have a focus on performance optimization to improve your game's performance both pre- and post-launch, such as with our new Android GPU Inspector. AGDK launched in July last year, and the response has been really incredible. I'd like to thank you all for your help with the Android Game Development Kit, whether it was by submitting feedback and bugs, by directly contributing code, or even just through your kind words of encouragement. AGDK has matured from multiple releases and now has over 15,000 downloads, but we've heard some feedback about areas where you want us to focus next. JNI and debugging is still difficult. Memory has been a persistent issue. And we've heard that you want more tools and techniques for improving game performance. With this in mind, we've revamped the HDK with a variety of tools and libraries to help with these additional needs. Let's start with integrated workflows, where the Android game development extension has some rather exciting new updates. For those of you not as familiar with the Android game development extension, it is a Microsoft Visual Studio extension for developers of C++ games and game engines. It allows developers to use existing Visual Studio workflows to create Android games. The new version that we're releasing today adds support for Visual Studio 2022 and enhancements to make debugging Java and Java native interface even easier. Based on your feedback, it also features improved deploy speed and improved device compatibility with VR headsets. With the AGDK in general, we're trying to make it possible to develop your game in C or C++ as much as possible. But inevitably, you're almost always going to need to use some Java in your Android game. Previously, to switch between Android Studio and Visual Studio with AGDE, it could be quite a difficult process. And we heard many developers having to maintain and manage separate projects. With our new Android Studio Java debugging capability for AGDE, it's easy to use a single project to debug Java and C++ using Android Studio. The first step to this is to go into Android Studio and patch your build.gradle file. Now you can open your project in Android Studio. Here we change the debugger to allow us to step through both Java and native code. After doing so, we can compile and launch directly from Android Studio. We can add some breakpoints in both Java and C++, and it will show local variables and debugger information. When you're done modifying files in Android Studio, you can quickly jump back to editing and debugging in Visual Studio with AGDE. It's available now. Just make sure that you have the most recent version of the Android game development extension, Android Studio, and the Android Gradle plugin. You can learn more at g.co slash android slash extension. As well as trying to make JNI debugging easier, we've also expanded our C and C++ library collection Last year, we launched three new libraries. Firstly, Game Activity. This provides a foundation for C++ games to be built on. It provides C interfaces for all the Android events that you expect, from screen rotation to app lifecycle. This way, you can minimize the amount of development time that you spend in the Java language. Game Text Input is a stable way to use a software keyboard in C that is officially supported 
and will work across different Android versions. And then there's Game Controller. This is a way to handle input from game controllers in C, to map their functions, and to reconnect to the device when necessary. This is on top of our frame pacing API, which improves frame stability and touch latency, as well as, of course, our high performance audio library, which reduces audio latency and provides an easy way to use the most efficient audio API for a given device. Since we launched these new and updated libraries last year, they've been very well received. We have been listening to your feedback, though. We added fine tuned filtering for input and activity, and additional listeners to help you better position your keyboard. As always, to get these updates, you can get our libraries as part of the SDK, through Jetpack, or as source code. We also heard that the SDK was getting inconveniently large, so we're introducing a new express download that's much smaller, but still has everything you need to get going, so long as you're on the most recent version of the NDK. As well as these updates, we're introducing a new library today, the Memory Advice API. Now, when a game uses too much memory, the low memory killer will sometimes kill the app. This can be a bad experience for the player, as it seems just like a crash. It's also a bad experience for you, the developer, as there's often no telemetry or signal about what happened. To solve this problem, we're introducing the Memory Advice API. This is a new API that uses an ML model to combine the best signals for a given device to determine how close a device is to being low memory killed. You can use it in a few different ways. We've heard that many developers are using Entra memory as a signal for low memory, and then adjusting their memory usage. For most devices, our new library can be used as a drop-in replacement for Entra memory, but is much more accurate for that purpose. You can also use it for telemetry, to record when devices are approaching a low memory kill, and then you can tune and adjust your game or content on those devices to lower their risk in future. This library is available now and is part of the AGK Libraries package. You can also learn more about memory and this library in Victor and Bill's talk about memory. We've also seen a large number of emerging and popular game engines start adopting our library. To take one example, let's talk about the Frame Pacing API. It's a library to help game engines ensure frame stability and to lower touch latency, in some cases by as much as 10%. Well, this is now available as part of Unity from 2019.3, Unreal 4.25 onwards, Cocos Creator will be launching it in 3.5, and it's coming soon to Godot. Having these libraries built into the engine makes it even easier for you to use our new technologies as you don't have to do the integration work yourself. Performance optimization is the third focus of the Android Game Development Kit. Our suite is designed to help developers quickly find any stability or performance issues before launch and to monitor performance post-launch to catch any issues. We started with the most important metrics like frame rate, loading time, and memory, and we'll be expanding it to new metrics over time. Smooth performance is essential for making an enjoyable game, but it can be hard to work out what's causing slowdowns. The Android GPU Inspector is our tool to help you analyze graphics performance, regardless of what type of GPU you're running on. It helps you identify bottlenecks in your rendering, whether they be in the GPU or elsewhere. Once you've decided that you're memory bound, vertex fill rate bound, or whatever else it is, it can help you pinpoint the location of these bottlenecks in your render passes. Last year, we shared the AGI beta with you. We've heard a lot of feedback and feature requests from you since then, many of which we've been able to incorporate into the product. As a result of that, we're proud to announce that AGI is fully launching today, and you can grab it from our website. When Jay spoke about AGI last year, he mentioned a new area that we were exploring, frame profiling. Frame profiling allows you to dive down into a particular issue to see which render passes are taking all the time, and then statically inspect individual calls to find exactly where your problems are. This makes it much easier to get to the root of the problem and get your game running again. Lastly, we also heard feedback that you wanted a simpler, more efficient UI, so we've overhauled the UI, helping you get to important counters quickly. You can find out more about AGI in Pascal's talk on the Android GPU Inspector, or you can check it out at g.co slash android slash agdk. Android Performance Tuner is a telemetry offering that is part of agdk and Android Vitals. It helps you measure the quality of your user experience by showing you frame time, loading times, and abandonment rates. It helps you diagnose and prioritize your game performance issues by helping you understand when game problems happening uh, and in what situations. And lastly, it helps you get the best out of every device by helping you better map quality levels to devices. In the past year, we've seen some great examples of developers using APT to better understand what their field performance is, 
and to adjust the availability of their game. The Witcher Monster Slayer used Android Performance Tuner to massively increase their device reach while they were soft launching. The developer, Spoko, used Android Performance Tuner to assess the game's performance on different devices based on actual usage during the soft launch. They also used Play Console and Device Catalog to add additional devices over time. With this information, they're able to turn off underperforming devices and confidently launch on a wide variety of devices. This led to an increase in device reach by 18-fold and an increase in downloads of 10%. Although, of course, this is just one case study and every app developer's experience with APT is going to be different. Lastly, when we think about optimization, it's important to consider any signals from the user. On select devices, the user can choose between performance or battery saving mode for a game. Game mode APIs allow developers to query that preference and react to it. The game mode API is a part of the OS itself rather than HDK and is available from Android S. With this, you can listen to callbacks to tell you if your user has entered a battery preference or performance preference, so you can adjust accordingly. Currently, this is supported by Pixel and Samsung devices running Android S, with more devices coming soon. This is part of our broader game dashboard initiative to give users more control over their gameplay experience. You can find out more about the Game Mode API in our developer documentation. We've covered a lot today. To recap, the HDK includes integrated workflows like our updated Visual Studio extension, a suite of C and C++ development libraries like our new Memory Advice API, and lastly, we have a focus on performance optimization to improve your game's performance both pre- and post-launch such as our new updated GPU frame profiler. That's just a taste of what's on offer in the Android Game Development Kit. It's got something for every game developer, from integrated workflows to C and C++ game libraries to performance optimization. Make sure that you stay tuned for our other videos, and you can download and try the AGK now at g.co slash android slash agdk. We'll put details and links in the description. Thank you for your time today, and happy game development.